Later this week is the only national day of giving for the LGBTQ community. It's called Give Out Day and joining us this morning is Jillian Hiscock, who's uh, with the Arise Project for the Greater Twin Cities United Way. Good morning, Jillian. Good morning. Thanks Th for having thanks us. Thanks for coming in and, yeah. and braving the roads. Yeah. Um, so this is coming up Thursday. This will be the sixth year that I've been involved in this national day of giving. Let's talk first. What is Give Out Day and, and why do we do it? Yeah, as mentioned, it is the only day that is specifically dedicated to LGBTQ awareness and fundraising in the country. It is a national day, similar to Give to the Max Day that we have in mm -hmm. Minnesota. This is a national day of giving specifically for GLBT organizations. And you can choose whichever charity you want to give to. There are so many out there. Yeah, I was looking at the website last night, and even in Minnesota, I think we have 15 different organizations that are participating in the day. We are, you and I, yes. and, and a few other yes. people are raising money for the Arise Project, Correct. which is based here and all of the money that we raise on Thursday, if it goes to the Arise Project, will stay here, right? Correct. Yep, how, how, will it, how will it help? What do you guys do? Yeah, so the Arise Project partners with local agencies, and we ensure that the support is needed to the LGBTQ homeless population here in Minnesota. In Minnesota, on any given night here, there's about 4,700 youth that are experiencing homelessness, and about 40% of those identify as LGBTQ. Why is it important to have a day designated to give this way? Yeah, I think one thing that surprises a lot of people is that in Minnesota, if we were on pace with the national average of giving, we would be investing about $4 million a year in this issue. But Minnesota is drastically behind that, and we're actually only investing about a million dollars a year. We're so proud in Minnesota of how charitable we are. Do you have any sense as to why that might be the case? You know, when marriage equality passed in 2013, that was such a big moment for us and in Minnesota doing it even earlier than the country did. And I think that in some regards, it seemed like we had arrived. Oh, the fight and is really, over, right? Right, yeah. right. And in reality, it really did show up that our, do our donations have significantly decreased since marriage equality passed. So here's a way you can help. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so here's the deal. There is sort of a, a um, competition component there of is. the fundraising yes. that happens on Thursday. Uh, if we, as, a, as an area, raise an, uh, the most money per hour or have the most number of individual donors per hour, there's a bunch of different uh, ways that we can get matching funds. And so you're going to hear more about this as we go through the week and as I have a chance to stop tracking this intense <laughs> snowfall and start talking more about this. But uh, in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to go to my Twitter and Facebook and post a link where you can schedule your donation for Thursday. And the reason it's important to schedule it is because if they all hit at the same time, we get some extra money. Hey, absolutely. Good deal. Thanks so much for coming Thanks, in, Jillian. Jillian. Thank you.